Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure I'm as you guys already know. Today is June 10th and it's 11.07 p.m. Um, today, y'all, I picked up the camera. I know it's been a minute. <laughs> Listen, we're back and we're better though because we are going on a missions trip. I'm going to PEI, Prince Edward Island. Earlier today, I'm like hot right now, y'all, because I just walked. So basically, I walked to the nail salon. I got my nails done. I don't know if y'all can see. Got my nails done. And I also got my toes done. And then um, I walked to like the Tim Hortons, got myself an ice cap, a little ice cap, you know, because it was hot. And I got my family some, uh, some stuff too. And I have to leave my house soon. I'm going to bus to the airport, y'all, so stay tuned. I know this is going to be like a whole adventure. It's going to take me about... An hour and a half-ish to two hours to get to airport. The flight is at five. But I'm going to leave my house at like 12 something because I'll probably end up getting to airport like at 2.30ish. Yeah, 2.30ish, three. So that's like two hours before the flight takes off. Yeah, but stay tuned. Right now I'm going to go take a shower again because even though I already took a shower, I'm sweating again. So I need a cold shower, you know, like cold shower but. Yes, I'm going to go get ready and I have to see when the bus comes and stuff and get ready and stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with your aunts, your aunties, your dad, your mom, your sisters, all of that. And yes, guys, are you guys excited? I'm so excited, y'all. <laughs> so I'm at the airport now. I'm walking to the departure. Okay, I'm following the arrows. Period. Guys, this is the biggest elevator ever, but I think it's for you know people that actually have luggage. I only have a backpack, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it, but my backpack full. I look like I'm sweating, y'all, but it's the shea butter. Shea butter is just shea buttering today. I need to go to washroom to like blot it because I feel like it's too much. But y'all, so I was at the wrong terminal, and now I'm going to terminal. Oh. <laughs> Not you. That's how it was good. That's how it was good. Was good. Not you. Yeah, she brought your camera. Yeah. You were gonna vlog anyways. Yep. Not you. So what's up? I was brought good. my pouch too. Period. Matching pouches. Period. This is my first time going on a plane. I never went on a plane before. So I'm excited. Nisa is so funny. No, I'm excited, but the only reason why I'm excited is because it's for God, you know? Amen. Et je dire comment c'est to evangelize. I want to take that embrace. Everyone's here. We're ready to go. Guys, so I made it through. Um, the rest are, they have too much liquid in their bag, so they have to throw things away. Guys, so we're here walking to B4. So we're getting some way y'all. I got the teriyaki chicken. Hi there. Hi. Um, lettuce. Um, cucumber. Yeah. Uh, bell pepper. Um, can I get a little bit of the jalapeno? And um, can I get um, chipotle sauce, uh, sub sauce, and hot sauce? That is all. Thank you. Yo, 
Oh, that a, like, that this is like first a first new era. I'm like, oh, for okay. me, um, it was That's good. good. Yeah, but she called this, I would uh, give it like a good like six, sir. I'll yeah. give it an eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bad. Eight out of ten. Okay. The beginning was picking up those. Yeah. In the beginning, it was. I never. It was. It was holding on. It was very wonky. Guys, so we arrived at the apartment dorm. So basically, we're renting a apartment so dorm at a school. Like, like if you're, see I've never seen a. So guys, this is room one. Yeah. Then yeah. you walk. Then you walk down here and room two. Then room three. It's like dorms. I think it's connected to school, but. Yes, guys. This is the washroom, and there's actually a second washroom in there. Glory to God, he allowed us to arrive here. Like I was saying, um, mm -hmm. that's only by the grace of God. You Amen. Know? A lot of times, people don't even know. The reason why the plane's still up is because there's a Christian in there. Just one. Mm -hmm. There's one, like the same way. Um, I forgot what verse that is. But yeah, I'm with Abraham. When God asked, when Abraham asked God, he's like, God, what if there's, I, I don't know, I'll randomly, what if there's 50 people? I'll still save them. Mm -hmm. What if there's this much people? I'll still save them. What if there's one oh, person? Yeah, yeah, if there's one person righteous, yeah, I gotta read Genesis again. I love that book. Mm -hmm. But then again, if there's one person, I will not destroy this um, this place. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if there's no Christian on this earth, we won't let it like, are violated, you know. And you can still so please guys join yeah. more than it's from. Hey guys, so today is day two, or like the second day that we're here. It is Sunday the 11th. Um, it is 11.21 a.m. There's a one hour time difference, so in it's 11 a.m. here, but in Toronto it's currently 10 a.m. And yes, so right now I'm about to go have my Jesus time, and yeah, I'm gonna go pray Scott. Guys, this morning I did laundry, right? I did laundry and I saw because I went downstairs in my ball shorts, my bonnet, I didn't even brush my teeth yet and I was looking for the laundry mat and it was so ghetto because I saw people. But anyways, I did the laundry out into the clip. And this is the lounge, as you can see. The lounge. And it's actually quite cute. There's like a good view. You can see the water down there. Do y'all see the water? It's like, it's over there. It's prettier in real life, but Yes, and this is the room. There's like a thing. They should have added like some type of foosball thing here, to be honest, but there's nine floors, right? So you can't add a foosball table everywhere, right? But yeah, I'm just gonna spend time with Jesus here. Huh? Guys, so now oh, we're going to uh, Burger King to eat food. It I'm is right Burger King? King. I ain't no Burger King. Yeah. You guys could also go to the Superstore, I guess, and buy the food there. Oh, that's true. That's very true. So guys, we're going to, I don't even know where at this point because, you know, people don't like Burger King. But yeah. So guys, Andy's here. Andy, say something. Yeah, we're not even Burger King because this is not like, I'm just going to gag. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to gag. But all is well, we're actually about to eat and um, we're going to share the gospel of Jesus. Let's not like, you know, delay anything. And just allow, allowing God, being, making ourselves available to God and allow Him to use us. Amen, yeah. amen, amen. Yvonne, do you have something to say to the vlog? Yes. Ooh, this actually look fire, yo. I know it's girls, but like, I need to get some, some shades. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go um, evangelize, um, speak the gospel, stay tuned for some good testimonies because I know. God is gonna yeah, move. Yeah, I'm here for a testimony. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Man, I'm not eating testimony for yes, testimony. Yes, yes, guys, so I'll be back. Guys, so we're at Mucho Burrito now. Guys, so we're at Tim Hortons now. We just ate our food. Um, I got a coffee, iced coffee for free because I had enough points. I got sandwich, tea, and donuts. Yeah, and we're here evangelizing and stuff. I don't know if I should get them, but we move on pim, we should pim. So we're evangelizing a little bit. That's Andy, and then there's I don't know if that's doing too much. Yvonne. Guys, so now we're at the superstore. Hey guys, so now it is nighttime. It is 10.09 and we are going to a restaurant to eat food. And we're also trying to uh, see if we can find people. Hopefully people are still outside. It's a Sunday though. Do people go to work tomorrow? Yeah. I don't know. We're hoping that people are still outside even though it's Sunday night so that we can evangelize a little bit more, you know. And guys, we might go to Nova Scotia to evangelize over there as well. We might hit up Moncton, which is 
about two hours, which is not bad. So yeah, an hour and fifty minutes. Yes, we're trying to be out by like nine. Man, eight thirty would be ideal, but <laughs> nine seven I'll see you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm here with Effie. So yes, guys, stay tuned when we go downtown. Guys, so we're downtown and look how dead it is. But you know, guys, we found John's Brown. Oh, Batu? This must be a good restaurant then. At that restaurant we just passed, the kitchen is closed, so we're gonna walk to the next restaurant and see. Guys, so this is Hunter. I don't know if y'all can see that. It says Hunter, second restaurant. It's cute. No, I didn't take it. I want salmon. That's so good. Yeah, but I want the maple. Is there maple that comes with it? Yeah, it should be on. Guys, so this is one of the rooms at the school. There's ushers that walk around them. Cute. No, dirigé, like le pub. Yes, guys, so we're back at the school now. And we're just walking around, you know, discovering. <laughs> I didn't Hey guys, so today is June 12th, Monday, 7.59 a.m. And we're getting ready. Yes, guys, I can show you guys my fit. It's just a black dress. Hold on. It has pockets. Right now we're getting ready. And yes, we're going to go out and evangelize soon and yeah so i'm gonna take my little time with jesus now and i will come back later okay y'all guys so now i am going to dollarama to buy three things lip roller socks and something else i forgot that was on the list Stay tuned, I'm gonna walk because it's a nice and sunny day. I saw the weather in Toronto, in Toronto, in Toronto it's raining. I said, whoa. I said, scary. <laughs> but yeah, here it is sunny. Let's see, it's 17 here, and in Toronto, it's 16 with rain pouring. Guys, so I got the three things, um, deodorant, lint roller, and socks. I forgot to film in there, but you know, y'all get it. Father God, today, Father God, let it be a day, Father God, of impact, oh Father God, where you impact all your people, oh Father God, whether it be if we just give a check, whether it be if we just say Jesus loves you, Father God, let every word, oh Father God, every single word that comes out of our mouth, oh Father God, let it be seeds, oh Father God, that is planted in the lives of your people, oh Father God. Like different things like about Jesus Christ coming back, like you get to understand different perspectives of life and you get to apply it in your life as well. And even, future. and also yeah. for those that what what religion? What did you guys practice it? Religion? Yeah, I'm a <clears throat> Christian. You're a Christian. You? I'm a Muslim. 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 Et tu pratiques l'Islam? Est-ce que tu es fort dans ton pratique? Give, give me a second. Give me a second. Please, I, I gotta jump into this. See, now this is the important kids. What, what is it? What is capitalism based on? The Bible, right? Uh, so, sorry, let me just. Even to go back, like even in the beginning, even in the beginning there was good, like everything was good. But then after that, when um, Eve ate the apple, that's when evil came. And the thing, what a, the thing yeah, about the devil, really an it was apple, whatever fruit it was, it was a fruit. But Wait, so, sir, it was it what was it? It was an apple. Yeah, we just say apple. We just apple. Yeah, we just say apple. Yeah. Yeah. Just say apple read, but yeah. in the word, it doesn't say. Anything. Yeah. I just say apple because that's the only thing that comes up on my mind. But the thing about it is, as well, like what I was trying to say is just like once sin came, the devil. Because the thing is that the devil, if you read the word, he got descended because he was in heaven. And after that, a third of his angel got descended because of his rebellion and he wanted to like, you know, overpower God. But now the thing about the enemy is like, if he's not in hell, like obviously, or wherever he is in hell, he's not going to want, he doesn't want people to inherit the kingdom of, of God. Mm -hmm. So what he's going to do in his power is to bring forth confusion. Yeah. And in order for him to bring forth confusion is different religion. Because yeah. mm -hmm. anything that will pull you away from God yeah. is that's his plan. So that's why there is um, Hinduism, there is Buddhism, there is Islam, there is um, New Age, there is spirit, these new different spirituality, mm -hmm. there is oh, Sikh, all these things. 
guys, so we just evangelized to the people that you guys saw. And you guys, one is going to get baptized. We scheduled it for 5.30. And he said yes. You know, we explained everything. He already knew Jesus. But we explained further and stuff. And, you know, he has a calling on his life. You know, he's very prophetic. And it's, it's honestly, I'm excited. Like, are, are you guys excited? Me? I'm excited. I'm yeah. amped. I'm so amped. Like, honestly, only God. So, guys, now we are going to Tim Hortons. We're going to go eat food. I'm with Ophi, Nisa, Yvonne. Where are you? Stay tuned, y'all. Hey guys, so we just got our food. Everyone's eating, and Nisa's just in the line waiting to order hers because she was saving this spot. So now it's her turn to order. Oh, that actually looks very good. Guys, so I came back to Dalam again, and this time I bought a t-shirt, a red t-shirt for the baptism, because I need to put it over my bathing suit. I have an extra t-shirt, but but the extra t-shirt I have is for sleeping. Guys, so my phone died, so now I'm just recording on this. I blurred out the back so it looks, you know, nice or whatever. But yes, guys, we arrived downtown. We're downtown. And we're gonna see who we could find to talk to about Jesus Christ. Yes, guys, we're here. We made it downtown. Downtown was only like it's only nine minutes away from where we live, so it's like. Oh. He's like, I want my children to have a relationship with me. I want my children to sit here in the kingdom of God. Based off that, if Jesus were to come today, where would you say you would go? Okay, and now I have another question. Have you ever lied? Oh, yeah. Have you ever lusted before? What is that? Lust, um, like, look, at at, guy, look at a guy like sexually or... Oh, yeah, I've had boyfriend. You said that you've done these things. And in the Bible, these are considered as... That was a moral question. It's a moral question. Yeah, it's a moral yeah, question. Yeah, so based off funny. these things, they're called basically sin. And the, base, the Bible says um, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So if Christ were to come based on that, it would be like, if you were realistically, it would be like, hello, it's basically because there's sin. But the good news is that there's Jesus Christ there. And through Jesus, you get the gift of eternal life. So have you ever had like an open book test? Oh yeah. Yeah. You see how easy that is? That's how we do the Bible with God basically and the Holy Spirit. So it's kinda like when you have that open book test, it's like you get that guide on like how to navigate your life and things like that. And like you can get it's like why struggle on your own when you can get all the free answers by going to God and going and getting it um with the Holy Spirit and things like that. Yes, and you don't have to because a lot of people think, you know, like I have to go to church to have a relationship with God, but you can also do just do it in your room. You know, read your Bible and stuff. And also, like, it's also good to fellowship with people. Yeah. Yeah. So they hold you accountable. Have you ever thought about this, like, this type of topic or just life in general? Like, huh, where do I stand? Where is God? Is God really there? I mean, I know that I'm a Christian, but it's like, is, are you truly there? Yeah, I think about it from time to time. And I definitely want to start practicing. I just always feel like, you know, where to start. Oh, yeah. 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 That can be the hard part sometimes. It's as simple as you being here and praying in your heart. Just being like, God, I'm here. I want to start somewhere. Where do you want me to start? You got to but also when you go through certain things, you don't see what's going on. But think about when you have a relationship with God, you need to, that's where faith comes in. Guys, so we just spoke to Jonathan and he gave his life to Jesus Christ. Yeah. And now we're going to go to the picture. bookstore. Yeah. Well, we're going to go to Unico Valley. Yeah. And then we're going to the bookstore now to buy a Bible for him because he's a physical Bible type guy. He yeah. doesn't really do the apps. So we what searched What should we buy? NLT, CV? Oh, uh, something NIV. easy to read. Yeah, NIV is easy too. NLT, yeah, if we see NLT. Yes, we're going to, it's called Bookmark, the bookstore. I bless these Bibles Amen. in the name of Jesus, oh Father God. Lord, I pray, Father God, as you will open up, mm -hmm. Father God, this Bible. Oh my God, thank you so much. No, no problem. problem. And we wanted to give you an extra oh, yeah. ten dollars. That's from Jesus, okay? Thank you. No problem. Where? A picture with you? A picture? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you guys have, have to say? Jesus. One sixty nine. 
Pourquoi tu prends pas une bonne boîte, tu voudrais comme ça qu'il va te laisser Oui, oui, oui. Guys, so now we are back at the school, as y'all can see, and we're gonna go take a little break, maybe for 30 to 45 ish minutes. I don't know how long this break gonna be, but after that, we're gonna go check out the pool where we're gonna have the baptism at. And yes, guys, stay tuned. It's, one of these departments. Father God, it's for a purpose and for a reason. Oh, Father God, even the fact that Father God, we came, oh, Father God, we were able, Father God, to speak to encourage So, guys, we're back at the pool. <laughs> and <laughs> I feel like y'all can't really see me, but we're back at the pool, y'all. And we're about to do the baptism in a couple minutes. I want to remove the old and become the new you know you're saying goodbye to the flesh and now you're saying hi to the holy spirit to use you completely like andy said i really want to stress that it's not you that's um going to be leading yourself obviously you have things to do but it's god that's going to be helping you now so all those those sins that were inside of you that you couldn't really resist and you couldn't battle like god will help you do that because of your acceptance to him because you accepted him in your life and with this Heaven is rejoicing right now because one soul is saved. It only takes one soul for, for God in heaven to be so happy. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we present to you Stephen Amen. as he surrenders his life onto you, Father God. Amen. And that this is a newness of life, Father God, that the old has gone and the new has come. As when he dips, in, dips into the water and he fully emerges, Father God, he's saying yes to you, God, and no to the flesh. Amen. He's saying yes to you, God, and saying no to the flesh. Amen. The old has gone and the new has begun. And for we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Maybe filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Ghost, they may receive the gifts of the Spirit as well. So we're going to pray for him and to leave him in, in the Holy Spirit's hands. Holy Spirit, Father God, 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 um, so guys, the baptism went well. We we're going to Pony um, Social Club or something. It's called like Pony's Restaurant, Pony Social Club. But it's basically a restaurant slash arcade. Sorry, arcade. And we're going to go there and, you know, have fun. Guys, I got darker here. I feel like the sun was out today, y'all. It was like so hot. It felt like 35 degrees. But then with a little bit of winds. But like the winds were like refreshing. It's not like heated winds, if that makes sense. But yeah. So, yes, guys, I'm enjoying my time here thus far. Like, honestly, this trip was like, this trip was very much, I can't say needed because you don't need anything. You see what I'm saying? But I guess needed, I don't know if it's needed. No, you know what? It was needed. I feel like this trip was needed because honestly, throughout this trip, I feel like, um, I feel like I grow every day, but throughout this trip, it was something, something that just, you know, like a, it's almost like it was like a launching pad if that makes sense and yes are you guys just, i'm so happy like my heart is smiling i don't know even if that makes sense like has your heart ever smiled y'all like my heart is like happy like very happy like i don't know how to explain it but my heart is like smiling and so am i <laughs> okay i need to stop um i feel like i'm rambling but like these people are taking forever okay i'm gonna go now for real and I will see you guys at the restaurant. So guys, Steven and his friend, thank God, can't make it because they have work tomorrow. So we're just gonna go out and eat still. But yes, guys, we're here, we're downtown. We're gonna go find somewhere to eat. And I'm like, okay. it's the experience. Yeah. Yeah, that's for you there. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Can I grab anything else to get started, guys? Yes, can I have a new one? Hey, guys. So it is a new day. It is Tuesday today. It is approximately like 12.15-ish p.m. And, guys, I'm, I'm picking up the camera real late, but it's because we haven't really... Did we do anything today? No. I, we haven't done anything yet, but right now we're about to go eat food. 
guys, so we went to Tim Hortons, so we bought the barbecue, something. Oh, she did hear the food. Chicken. Questions and things like that. So, yeah. yeah. I, know, I was going to say, like, um, you might be wondering, okay, like, I'm hearing you guys and stuff, but, like, how does this work and stuff? So, yeah. basically, the way it works is um, if you, like, confess with your mouth that, you know, you believe in Jesus mm -hmm. and you repent of your sins and you ask God to come into your heart, then he'll come, his spirit will come into your heart and then you can start uh, reading the Bible and then, you know, that's when he'll reveal different things to you and you'll start, like, if you um, live in sin, like, if you're, you lust and, like, you mm -hmm. lie, slowly but surely you'll realize yeah. that your life will like slowly change and I be, sorry i just want to say like and especially when it comes to god because god is so holy right like he's extremely holy and he he his desire is for us to be as holy as he is of course now like each and every day it is a, like we sin every single day right but his grace is what makes it like sufficient for us it's, his grace is what makes it doable like you know living in each and every day like you'll see that like the things that you used to love before is like with god there it's like oh, i don't know for some reason it's just i can't love this anymore like i can't go down this path anymore i can't listen to this i can't watch this i can't do this it's just like no like i just don't feel okay like the more that you get god into it so it's like it's and even those things show you that it's actually doable with christ guys so we are downtown now gloire and andy are sharing the gospel over there Oh, that is so scary. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh no. That is so deep. Guys, there's like a love um thing. That is cute. <gasps> there's the jelly. Oh, there's a jellyfish. You know, I've seen it at the aquarium. Have you gone to the aquarium? Yeah, but I've never seen it face to face. What? Wow, wow. Well, at the aquarium, they're more vibrant, but I guess it, yeah. because Los is Sally, oh, see? I, I think this is low key not right. No, it's not necessary. Yeah, what is it? Everything is needed or something. Do you see? There are people here, they don't even have clothes. Exactly. Not for real. That's actually facts. For me, it's still crushed. But then, what do you mean? Then, you cut. But I'm not going to throw the kid in the water. Oh, that's what they do? Yeah, but even I'm not gonna throw the key in the water because I don't know what you're doing. You're not wrong. No, no, no. It's not too spiritual. No, no, no. Not I don't think so. Listen, I will. I, I would. I wouldn't do the lock thing. Oh, there's so many here. Oh, there's guys. There's so many. Here. Oh, there's so many. Here. Oh, there's so many here. Oh, there's so many here. Guys. Oh, this looks nasty, Loki. Are they dead? No, no. There's so many. Guys, so now we're walking to Boston Pizza. We're about to eat. Everyone is right here. It's a whole vibe, okay, y'all? Um, the sun is out. Excuse me, excuse me. What's that, mate? Huh? I feel like it's down there. Everyone's here. Oh, it's over there. But yeah. Across, we're supposed to go to Montana's, but it's in the next plaza and it's hot outside, y'all. So we out. decided to just come to Boston Pizza. <laughs> Sorry? As you can see, I saw the, the hot Boston part Pizza. Was yeah. Mm. Ooh, I almost That's dropped there. Service. Okay guys, so we just um, finished eating at the restaurant and now we are walking to take the bus because they have Carrie here, Carrie with a K. And basically the, the Carrie's gonna come in like 16 minutes. So because we don't got time, guys, it's basically almost eight and our flight leaves at 10 and you're supposed to be there two hours before. But obviously we ain't finna get there two hours before, like it's the ghetto. And yeah, basically also, now we're walking to the bus stop. Guys, the bus stop is like right there. It's a little blurry, but it's over there. And the bus is right there. It's doing like a loop tour, but yes, guys. So 
Now we're getting on the bus. We're, it's probably just gonna be like two stops, to be honest. Three stops. It's not far. But y'all, bus fare, bus fare here is only two dollars. Can you imagine? For an adult, it's like twenty dollars for a monthly pass here. Like honestly, Toronto up pricing everything. Guys, so the bus is here yeah. now. I printed out my money. We're ready. specialize in here oh you guys can't really see the true redness wait can you guys see that it's red i don't know if y'all can see it yeah you guys can kind of see it there but yeah that's what they're known for here like the redness of their sand it's very cute guys so we're in the uber now um we got the same driver that we got when we came here um apparently in pei there's only five uber drivers or carry drivers so that's cool and um yeah guys uh, we're kind of oh it's 8 33 guys and boarding already started right yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the latest i've ever been to the airport for a flight we're gonna be fine but yes guys i hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far Guys, so they randomly scanned me. I was selected to be scanned out of everyone. And they had like a little like wand scanning my hands, my belt, and my shoes for, I guess, stuff. And yeah, that was different, new. Yes, but guys, um, now we're waiting. We're in the waiting room. Yes. Guys, so we're at the airport now and we're waiting for the plane to come. It the is. The plane's right here. Okay, but we're waiting to board. Thank you. Guys, so we're at the airport and we're waiting for the plane so that we can board. <laughs> and yes, guys, our trip was a success. Um, God was evident. And um, yeah, people were healed. People ba got baptized, you know? We did the, the thing. You know, spirit led, of course. We let God take control and we saw the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> okay um right now we're in the airport like everything good guys so as you guys saw the airport is kind of small like the food is like in that corner and it's not giving but that's fine it, because we went to boston pizza So guys, we're on the flight. and my eye listen my eyes a little puffy we're not saying about that my backpack it hit my eye y'all and it's because like people were like underneath where my backpack was so i didn't want to hit them you see what i'm saying so i kind of had to like suffer for other people so that i don't hit other people in the head you know and yeah hey guys so i just want to end the vlog properly i just want to say that this trip to pi was wonderful it was amazing we had a blessed time we spoke to so many people y'all we spoke to so many people like i can't even like i couldn't record everything obviously but guys so many people were touched like a lot of them really appreciated us speaking to them like you know and like so many people um gave their life to christ we had one baptism by god's grace like honestly like god is just so good and you could see that like he was just with us like i don't know how to explain it but 
y'all i even had the opportunity it was my first time like i feel like this whole trip i grew a lot because i actually i actually got the uh, opportunity to evangelize to this girl on my own like it was my first time evangelizing by myself which honestly it was only by god's grace but yeah i'm just excited for you know what is to come in the future and stuff like listen god is just good okay god is good this trip was very nice like i'm i'm gonna go back to pi for sure because the people there are just you know a vibe but yeah so yeah that's it i just want to tell you guys that god loves you all don't forget to evangelize you know spread the gospel of jesus christ and yes guys i'll see you guys i'll see you guys in the next video vlog bye guys so i'm gonna end the vlog now so don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed this video and yes guys say bye, bye. Okay. Hey. Say bye. 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 Okay, y'all. Say bye. Bye.